area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Cookies, but I let him run. Niggas ran on this man when he got jumped. I just dropped 30 on my neck. That's heavy. A nigga play, he gotta meet the set. That's heavy. Damn, don't like the walk, he like the tech. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification game, rightscanclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Salute to every single one of y'all out there that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. If you respect the handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, follow us on Twitter at Butterfly at Showtime. SP, but uh, let's get into this easy to block captain versus good. So, a lot of talk been moving around, you know, since easy to block captain had that battle with T Rex, uh, which came out to be better than most people, including myself, probably gave it credit for. I do have easy still winning 3 0, but when on the watch back, you know what I'm saying, to see Rex even in a comparable position in 2020 was definitely a good thing, you know what I'm saying. He had some moments in there. It was gas, but you know, sometimes you gotta expect that. In these type of battles, like people gonna have their crew, their entourage is there, you know, everybody gonna be talking, but easy to block captain to talk different. I'm just I'm battling my pain and you just my closure. You know how many rounds I gave up to get my pick like this, like like that's that talk? Oh my goodness. Pain, I've been through all that. I sold sheep rock. I got holes where my wall at. Now, so I bet you if somebody used one of them lines in the battle, I remember. <laughs> Some other shit, I, it is what it is. But I remember that, though. Um, see, the thing is, he left an impression. Let's go back a little bit with Easy the Black Captain. I'm going to take you back. So, Easy the Black Captain, he been rapping for a little minute. He's not like no brand new nigga like they just found out of nowhere that just started rapping like last year or some shit like that. He been doing this for a minute, but he never got an opportunity, a real shot. You know what I'm saying? He said Norbs didn't fuck with him. He said, you know, he he rapped about it in the um, in the fucking in the, in the T Rex battle. Norbs didn't fuck with me. Uh, P came through. I said it's lit. You know how many? You know how much shit I gotta do in the streets to make what I make off this? Like a lot of people's not talking like that. A lot of people didn't give him credit because he wasn't an exclusive puncher. Like you know, the punchline style is a lot of what battle, battle rap would be predicated to, you know what I'm saying? He gotta die, make him hold a bigger L than Vibe. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be doing all this punch, punch, punch shit, but the real talk, it, real talk will always have a place if it's done the right way. He's doing it the right way. Um, he goes about his career the right way because he's not out here battling every week. See, the thing about, let me tell you, Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat, we gotta speak. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna cook you in disguise and look you in the eyes. I raised the camera to grip the hammer. Yo, the problem with a lot of these newer battle rappers is these niggas battle all the time. They battle every week. They battle every month. Every time a new card comes out, these niggas is on every fucking card. And that shit don't do nothing but kill your stock. Like, okay. Even if you take a battle rapper like a Danny Myers, right? And this is not like a bash Danny Myers thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get to the good shit in a second, but, you know, I've been off for a couple days. I feel good. Let's talk. You see Danny Myers battling on every URL card. That's not going to benefit him. That's not going to help him at all. You're only going to burn yourself out. And him versus Real Sick, he burned himself out. Like, he had material. Trust me, there are people who heard his material he had material that never made it out. And the reason why is because he was burned out. He battled Shotgun Show the week before. He has uh, Reed Dollars. He has uh, J400. He's taking all of these battles. And I understand he's got a family. I understand he's got kids to feed. And I know a lot of y'all was like, oh, Danny Myers is uh, holding down battle rap. You know what I'm saying? I heard Good speak about the saying as far as people giving Danny Myers credit for holding down the culture. Bro, you don't have to be all of the Avengers in one person. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't... It, you're gonna burn yourself out. And then when you get killed, the looks that you wanted, the looks that you work for, you can get taken away from you in one day. Like, you could work a hard, like a whole year worth of work, have one a bad battle. And that his wasn't bad, his was horrible. One horrible battle where you forget all your rounds, all your material, and now you starting back down here again. You gotta work your way back, work your way back, work your way back, work your way back, work your way back. It's just a, such a repetitive process. And I think, I would hope that next time 
he's in a position to be like that, he has to move more strategically. And the reason why I say move strategically, look at what Easy the Black Captain is doing. He's not out here taking one rounders every week. He's not battling on Joe Smo Battle League. He's not battling, he's not taking none of these battles. You know why? Because when you've been waiting so long to do something and you finally get to do it, a nigga's not about to ruin that shit by taking a little $500 one rounder here, $1,000. He's not about to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, yo, don't play with your name. Because when you play with it and then you get smoked, nobody wants to see you anymore. We've seen MCs that once they get on, they just battle any and everybody. Easy to block Captain. Real sick dudes like that got shot out. Wasn't playing with you. you know what I'm saying? Let me let me go. Let me get to this Joe Button audio. He said, what Joe Button said. T-Rex, it was great to see you. It was great to see you. But that easy kid wasn't playing with you up there. He didn't care nothing about your legend. <laughs> he whipped some ass up there. <laughs> All I'm talking about is the, the showing from these new gentlemen who I may or may not have been so familiar with. They stole the show from me. Well, you got That was gotta... an amazing card and an amazing Saturday night. And if it couldn't get any more amazing. And, and like 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 when you when you hear people like Joe Budden and different people in, in esteemed positions talk about newer battle rappers like that and give them love, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, he really set himself apart the other day versus T Rex. Like, I get it that maybe people would feel like Rex, Rex, Rex. I got it, but Rex didn't win that battle, and Easy the Block Captain leveled himself up. He leveled himself up real sick. Leveled himself up. So I understand why other battle rappers who are in lower positions, when they hear us talk about these guys, you know, they may, they get in their feelings because it's like, yo, I've been doing this for a whoop de whoop de whoop long and somebody just came and passed me. Yes, Easy the Black Captain has passed a lot of y'all. Real Sick has passed a lot of y'all. Lou Castro has passed a lot of y'all. I'm sorry. But the thing is, we don't get paid to, to harbor nobody's feelings. It is what it is. These guys have passed a lot of y'all. You will probably see, I would not be surprised if we saw Easy the Black Captain on some Madness versus Chess. Give me Chess. Easy the Black Captain versus Chess. Give me that on some Madness. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that. But anyway, let's get to the good shit. So Goods goes out and says, Am I lying, Beasley? He tweeted that. Am I lying, Beasley? And what he did that for was basically, see, the thing about Goods is Goods is not stupid. He's very strategic. He knows how, he, he's been in the game long enough to know how to move accordingly and how to make the moves and say the things to get people where he needs to get them. And he can create, like, what y'all love, what's the word they love? He can create his own narrative, you know what I'm saying? He asks, am I lying, Beasley? Am I lying? Like, he's just basically just setting the tone for the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's just, you know, Beasley, am I lying, Beasley? He asks that, am I lying? Um, he's the black captain, says, you gonna need way more than that, champ. You're going to need way more than that. Basically saying that that's not enough. You're going to need way more than that. Now, Easy the Black Captain goes on to say something as far as uh, what I like to say. I've said this very often. Um, I, it's predicated from Rosenberg Raw. Salute to Rosenberg Raw. Easy the Black Captain says, real goods, take this walk with me. What that basically means before you stick a fork in me. Take this walk with me. Let me have this conversation with you. Let me let me let me give you some of this lingo. That's basically what he's saying. Let me holler at you. Um, so I know he's a black captain with love a battle versus goods. Um, goods is the type of MC that he don't really battle often, but when he does, he makes sure that his battles are impactful. He comes back, he will come back and take somebody like he did it with T Top. Uh, he did it with Gichi Gotti. Uh, you know, he'll come back and take a newer name. He doesn't have a problem taking that, but that newer name gotta be hot. See, the thing is, goods. Goods is not going to help somebody who's like way down here. But if you got a name that's not too far as to where if he takes you, it'll help elevate him some more too, he, he will do that. But he ain't taking no name that's way at the bottom. And Goods is not going to do that. that that's, I don't see that happening. But I do see him taking names that not only he feel like he could do good against or beat, that's going to help him comparably as far as with his career. I've had a lot of conversations with Goods, you know what I'm saying? We did, we've done interviews and shit before after the uh, Gichi Gotti battle, you know what I'm saying? He talked about a lot of things, and I know that, you know, he, he, he knows how to move in battle rap. Like, Goods is not no type of nigga that is dumb out here. He's not a dummy, and if he's starting to plant the seeds 
for Easy. It's a battle that once Easy takes a couple, they probably make Easy do a couple more joints. Um, but if Easy's smart, which I know he is, he doesn't dumb his level down to take no Survivor Series, none of those little super fight cards. If he don't do that, you you move like a star. If you win like a star, you'll get treated like a star. But once you start being accessible and able to answer in every fucking call and jumping on every fucking card, that shit don't do nothing for you. It actually hurts you more than it helps you because they know that they can get you for nothing. It's like, okay, well, we can just fly you out here this weekend in battle. I ain't gonna say no names because if I say them, you know what I'm saying, then I'm starting the narrative. So I'm not gonna do that. But just know that y'all know what I know when we know what we know. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna be here. Um, but do I like it as a battle? Hell yeah, I like it as a battle. Um, like I said, Easy just went crazy and he ain't really been losing like that. Like he ain't really been, since he came up, you gotta think, right? When he started on the ultimate, first of all, his battle versus Swag Tanners dropped on the URL channel when the app was out. If your battle drops on the URL channel when the app is out, niggas is not fucking with you. That's that's clear as day. If your shit drop on the channel, it's like we just throwing it out there just to get a fan something to to to, to leave us alone about. His shit dropped on the URL channel, niggas wasn't fucking with him. Um, he somehow got into Ultimate Madness. He beat Don Marino, who was one of the favorites in the tournament, you know. And I picked him to go far in the tournament. So when niggas be like, oh, you hate him. Bro, I picked Don Marino to, like, win that shit. So when Easy the Black Captain won there, that was a start for him, you know. And then he had a battle with Fonz where on the app. I believe the app has him beating Fonz, even though Fonz won the battle by the judges. I do believe the app has, uh, has Easy winning that joint. Matter of fact, I'll just keep talking while I go look. I don't want to have no... You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have no falsehood. So, um, yeah. So he did that joint, and then like he he continued to rise. He had the Cortez battle. Yo, he's the black captain. Is seven and zero on the app. Damn, son, he ain't never. This nigga ain't never lost on the app. Oh no, I gotta battle this nigga myself, son. This nigga's never lost on the app. We gotta get this nigga up out of here, son. You know what I'm saying, B? Yeah. So let's check out the Fonz joint. Yeah. Yo, hold up, son. They got this nigga easy winning 1,006 to 447 versus Fonz on the app. I swear to God, I'm not playing. I know you probably can't see it, but they got him winning by such a large margin that you'll be like, damn, Fonz, you owe easy 25,000. <laughs> uh, I was just fucking with you, though. But um, the, the star power is there. Um, the name is there. The acclaim is there. Uh, being 7 and 0 on the app, like I said, I haven't, um, I didn't even know that until I pulled it up right now. But that's a person that they're gonna keep around, you know what I'm saying? And most of his battles, let's see, I had him beating T Top, I had him beating Danny in the Edge, he beat Don Marino, uh, he beat Fonz, he beat Cortez, he beat T Rex, and then the Stumbles, I don't even know about that. I ain't, uh, how can you have a battle, a battle rapper named Stump? No, 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 what? No, no, I ain't gonna start no shit today. Um, so. Him versus Goods. Y'all niggas let me know what y'all think. Should it happen like ASAP or should he continue to work towards it? Bullshit! Bullshit! Boo -boo 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 Bullshit, I'm out. Smoke the cookies, but I let them run. Niggas ran on this man when he got chunked. That's heavy. I just dropped 30 on my neck. That's heavy. That nigga play, he gotta meet the set. That's heavy. Damn, don't like the walk, he like the tech. That's 